finishes via the short route Chad Hollywood Bennett former WBF world champion 27 fights 27 wins three draws he too has only tasted defeat on three occasions nine years in fact 11 years pardon me separate these two men Chad Bennett uh, with a slight height reach and weight advantage really negligible great to see Chad Bennett back here on the big time boxing May 28 this year suffered a first round TKO loss at this very venue to the ex WBC World Super Featherweight Champion Sing Wan Cha in his 61st encounter. The how is Chad Bennett going to recover from that loss? Wellington to Jesus. Making his way to the ring. Trained by Ellison Diaz at the San Antonio a boxing facility. A long, lonely road for an international to come here to Newcastle. Stand opposite the ring from Hollywood, the hometown hero. Waiting for Bennett. And here he is, Newcastle's very own. Born here, lives here, loves here. They love him too. Trained by Artie Armstrong at Action Fitness here in Newcastle. Has not forgotten his roots, where he comes from. And Team Bennett makes their way towards the blue corner. His first fight from that loss against the former world champion. <laughs> Chad Bennett centering. Let's go to Rick Powell. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for our main event here on Big Time Boxing as we now bring you a scheduled 10 round international junior middleweight bout. Your referee for this bout will be Mr. Charlie Lucas, your judges ringside will be Brad Griffiths, Ted McDonald and Cess Perkins, timekeepers Alex Fraser and Darren Jones, as we now take you to the red corner for the final time this evening and introduce our international visitor to you. At the weigh-in he showed us 67.4 kilograms, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, he is trained by Felix Paso. An international record shows us 19 bouts with 16 wins to date, nine of those wins by way of knockout. He is ranked the number one welterweight in his homeland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, all the way from Brazil, South America, Wellington de Jesus. And out to the blue corner where stands a true born and bred local. Wearing the familiar black and purple shorts, weighing in at 68.93 kilograms, he boxes out of the action fitness gym where Artie Armstrong puts the finishing touches to him as his trainer. With a strong professional record of 27 fights with 21 wins, 14 of those by way of knockout, three draws and three losses, it's time to welcome the man they call Holly. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get down to business. Okay. Okay, boys, I already spoke to you in the dressing room. Remember what I said, they come to see you fight, they don't come to see me referee. Ten rounds, touch them up. Okay. Statistically, You're it right, had Brad? Chad Bennett with the height and reach advantage. Uh, right, not sir. correct. Jesus appears the taller man. Right, was initially for a uh, welterweight title both guys just over that legal limit so an international junior middleweight reduced by two rounds so we're looking at 10 threes okay let them go 
Our main event on big time boxing. Ten three minute rounds at junior middleweight. Wellington de Jesus from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. The yellow trunks with the blue and green. Chad Hollywood Bennett in the black and purple. Again, Andy, we see the southpaw left handed. Jesus Fox. against Chad Bennett, the right hander. This is a good test for Bennett to see where he is with his career at 35 years of age. He got caught with that little straight left hand in the opening exchange. He got to keep his defense nice and tight. Good eye, Bennett. Watch them come in. Watch out on that, boys. Don't hold. Punch away. Interesting first name for Brazilian, Andy Wellington. Very different. It's not like you're a Mario's or you're an Aldo. <laughs> Better cautious here. 60 seconds into this one. Good flurry of punches from Bennett. Dapping nicely to the left-hander. Well, Wellington went wide there and Chad hold. kept Punch them away. nice and short Punch out and of that. Come on, don't hold. Don't hold. Straight. Okay, break. Step back, don't punch, don't punch, step back. Okay, box. Keep working, Jack. Keep working, mate. Better keeping a very compact upper body. You get the feeling we have to be very careful about head clashes here. To Jesus coming in at awkward angles, angles, doing so from his left okay, foot. You've, you've said that before tonight, anyway. You've got that left hand or right hander. The heads are going to clash in there. We just don't want to see an eye cut. Don't want to see the fight disrupted. The way to, do, to Jesus' stance is there is a real opportunity of exposing that midsection. Well, 45 seconds ago, you wouldn't say either man's really come out and, and won this round so far. Nice block there from Chad. Head can clash. They, yeah, can they clash heads? Is there any crimson? Not the case. Very similar in the hand speed, Andy. Doesn't seem to be an advantage to either one. No, no, boys. Both willing to, from what we've seen in the opening round. Three minutes down, down seven. 27 remain, if in fact we do go to the judges' scorecards. Judges give it a draw anyway, unless you win really clearly. I thought you landed the better punches, mate. So you never know, do you? Bitten. Get on the head. Both corners composed, both corners calculated in their approach. Two men touch gloves. The De Jesus camp obviously believing this is going to be four to close quarters. Liberal use of Vaseline over the forehead and cheekbone area of the Brazilian. Well, what was a fairly even first round that you yeah. see the contrast in style. Chad's more sort of come know, forward boys. straight ahead. Jesus Wait. likes to move on the okay, outside. He's got that footwork. He dips the shoulder. Neither man really came out and won that first round. Fairly even. So Jesus a busier fighter in the early moments of this second round. He's pretty loosened up after that first three minutes. 
particularly comfortable fighting overseas. He's travelled three times, has Wellington to Jesus, out of his native Brazil. And on all three occasions in Ireland, Denmark and France, they were his three defeats and his only defeats. Right, step back. And they'll be even more determined to come out and win here in Australia. Chad has to be just not lazy with his punches.